RW back again. It's your boy, Glenn Lawrence, and I am joined by Jack of Horror Show Jack. They're selling fangs. They're selling mandibles. They're selling all the teeth that you need to draw a little bit of blood. Horror Jack, tell us what's going on. Um, we're uh, here at Exotica, and, and uh, we're having a really good time. We're uh, making customized fangs and teeth, selling the horror teddy bears. Uh, my, my girlfriend, Angela, has uh, her own special inked blood that's for cosplay. And uh, selling Godzilla collectibles, probably not something you're just seeing. <laughs> so Godzilla collectibles and then the, the fake fangs and everything. So I see you got some nice fangs. Show the people your fangs. Ah. <laughs> Are those real? No. Uh, Oh, they come right out. I love it. I made that before the pandemic. This is like taking your hands in and out of your mouth. You always try to clean them. And you're shaking people's hands, taking your fangs out to show them how they work. And then on Monday, it's like, why am I sick? <laughs> so how do the fangs work? What's going on with the fangs? We take an impression of your teeth. That's what Angela's doing with the woman behind me. And um, we pour the mold from that. And then I hand sculpt the fangs right off that. And uh, we either text you at the show and you come pick them up or we uh, do free shipping. Interesting characters that have gotten fangs. Who's the most interesting character that's gotten some fangs from you? Are you talking like people or celebrities? Either oh. one. I think celebrities are people too. Uh, we well uh, sometimes. Ka Katie Morgan and uh, uh, Evan Stone got fangs from us. At our, um, we got Evan at our very first exotic in 2014, and in 2015 I got to make fangs for Katie Morgan at Chiller Theater. Wait, has she used them in any of her uh, films? Not that I know, but I haven't seen them all. That would be kind of awesome if you see her with the fangs on, you do the Leonardo DiCaprio. Hey, those are mine! That would be absolutely amazing, <laughs> but we've also made them for, uh, oh my God, uh, Johanna Angel and um, Raven, and uh, that's how I found out my fangs were in uh, Vampire Cheerleaders. Nice! So we are talking to some very famous fangs right now. This is Exotica 2020. We're having a good time. What are you most excited to see here? Oh, my God. I'm just happy to be at this show. This is probably one of the best shows I do all year round. Not, not just because of the atmosphere and how much fun it is. The people who run it are amazing. It's well organized. The guests are wonderful. The people that come in here are wonderful. The atmosphere and all the vendors are wonderful. I mean, you really can't ask for more. Right, right. You know, and you get so much more because you can just see the view. <laughs> all right, good, good, good. Look, here's the deal. I told people I was coming here, and they have one question for me, and I'm going to relay that question to you. Are you ready? Okay. What's it smell like? In here? Just in general. Oh. Um. Fresh morning dew. Fresh morning dew dripping. Fresh morning dew. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. This is Horror Show Jack. He's got the fangs if you need them. He's got the blood if you need it. He's got Dracula. I'm sorry. He's got... Oh, we have Dracula. You have Dracula? Yeah, have I was going to say, I meant to say Godzilla. Oh, wait. Hey, they got monsters. They got cute, cute ladies waving. Hey, how you doing? They got it all here. Come stop by Horror Show Jack. Exotica 2020. Thank you, sir, for the interview. Thank you, man. Thank you. What? I don't know. I think we're out. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.